what is going on youtube today i wanted to do a fun little challenge video it's been a while since i've done a challenge video uh and yeah so i just wanted to entitle this one uh, you know the games that made us um i recently been doing a lot of videos about other stuff and i kind of wanted to go back to a little bit of the channel's roots and, and talking about video games in general too and just kind of do these fun little challenge videos so this this challenge video is open to any youtuber that wants to do it just make sure you tag me in it so I can watch it to make sure to see what you guys picked as well uh, so really it's simple pick three games from your childhood that really just kind of played a big impact on you as a gamer so a lot of people nowadays that you know we're in my demograph was uh, you know late 20s 30s and 40s um, so a lot of us have obviously been gaming for a long long time and I just kind of want to see, I mean, this this obviously isn't just a challenge issue to the, the older generation. So a lot of you younger kids, you know, in your teens even, that watch this channel and want to do it, make sure to tag me in and I'll be interested to see you too. Because, you know, obviously the generations are going to be different on what games we really feel impacted us from our childhood. So I'm going to start off with uh, one of my earliest gaming memories was uh, playing the original NES. And, uh, of course, I had to Super Mario Brothers 3. So I, I remember, I think it was my uncle, uh, we went down, I went down to the basement one time when I went to my grandma's house and I had to been pretty young, probably about five or so. And I just remember just being blown away by the Nintendo. Um, it was just like, it was so awesome. And I originally only had saw the original Mario Brothers. And that was, I think I, when I had got my NES, that was the only one I had at first, too. But when I first was introduced to Super Mario Bros. 3, you know, the Tanuki suit, the uh, the warp whistles, even the multiplayer where you could play the, the fun little arcade version of Mario, you know. And, and some of the other stuff was so amazing. And I just remember, you know, spending... I feel like the Mario games nowadays aren't as fun as those ones were. Because there's a lot more exploration in it. Now, the Mario games that come out nowadays, like Wander and stuff like that, it seems pretty linear to me where it's just on to the next one. Um, but it just kind of, I guess, I don't know, that's just my opinion. A lot of everybody's opinion is different. But I just remember that Super Mario Bros. 3 was a huge impact on me as a game. And that's one of the first gaming memories that I have is playing that game and I enjoyed it when I was young playing it with my sister as well she didn't play very many games but I remember that you know Super Mario Bros. 3 was one that she would play and of course I was always Mario and she was always Luigi going on to my second choice uh, I had to go with Sonic the Hedgehog number two and the only reason I really think that this one stands out to me is I've talked in the past video about how Yes, I had the original NES, but I was not really technically a Nintendo kid. Uh, I was a Sega Genesis kid because as all my friends and stuff got Super Nintendos, I was the kid that got the Sega Genesis. And I remember that at first it kind of sucked because, I mean, there was great games like Metroid, Super Mario World, uh, Zelda Link to the Past, Mario Kart. And here I was just enjoying my sonic the hedgehog sonic spinball <coughs> excuse me and it was just kind of discouraging um i did find out that later on though a lot of my friends did actually enjoy coming over and playing the genesis because yes i was the only one with something different otherwise when you went over to all your buddies houses they always had the super nintendo and which also made it awesome for me was then when i would go over to their houses i could play something that i hadn't been playing and I remember as a kid, just everybody was enjoying Sonic the Hedgehog 2. He had the attitude. He was the blue blur. And just uh, the iconic, you know, Green Hill Zone music. And, you know, the I, I always get anxiety when I hear this song, too, is, uh, or the music when he is uh, the underwater. When you when you start running out of air and it's like... And it starts getting faster, 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 and then all of a sudden you just go, boo! And I, that's still like, if I hear that song even now, it gives me anxiety. Uh, kind of almost like the the slot machine on Super Mario Bros. 3 we were just talking about. Um, but I'd had to go for my second choice, definitely Sonic the Hedgehog 2. 
Um, not to say that it is my favorite one. I was a huge fan of Sonic the Hedgehog 3. And one of my original favorite things on the Genesis was Sonic and Knuckles. And how you could put that down there. And then you could actually put Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on top of it. And play Sonic 2 with Knuckles. And once again, talking about playing with my siblings. I remember when we discovered that second player could be Tails. It really was amazing because Tails was invulnerable and could not be permanently killed. So if there was any areas like bosses or Robotnik stuff that we couldn't do, we'd always have somebody else come over and play Tails uh, on second player so that way they could just fly around the map and take them out. Now lastly, I'm going to jump up one more generation on gaming and going to the PlayStation 1. Now like being the only Sega kid, I was also the only PlayStation kid for a while. A lot of my friends all upgraded to Nintendo 64s. Meanwhile, once again, I was the rogue. I was the the vagabond, or not the vagabond. You, you know what I mean. I was the I was the exile. I chose PlayStation, and I do not regret it to this day. I kind of regretted the Sega Genesis for a while, but the PlayStation I do not regret. Uh, I got Crash Bandicoot. I got all these games. My buddies all came over and loved it. We had the discs instead of the cartridges. There's memory cards. It's really freaking awesome, you know, with the just all the graphics and the cutscenes and stuff. It was just to me, uh, hands down, extremely better than the N64. There's some good games for the N64, but PlayStation to me, I think is the superior one and definitely won that console war. But I have to choose the game that I impacted me so heavily as a kid and that was Final Fantasy 7 I remember when I got my original when I got my PlayStation I was playing like I said Crash Bandicoot some games like that but I really was not an RPG gamer and I remember oh, my one friend coming over to spend the night and he brought he had recently got a PlayStation because of one of our other buddies finally got a PlayStation we had a rich buddy that had every console. He had the, you know, the, the N64, the PlayStation, and the, the Saturn and everything. But they had been playing Final Fantasy VII, and they wanted to show me it. So he had brought it over. And besides Final Fantasy VII, he had also brought over Breath of Fire Three, which that's 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 another day. That's a video for another day. How Breath of Fire Three is one of my all-time favorite RPGs. But Final Fantasy VII. Now I remember as a kid, dedicating fifty to sixty hours to a game you know, was ridiculous. We didn't have the attention spans for that. We just, it was like, you know, like like I said, with Crash Bandicoot and Spyro, just drop my phone. But we had the shortest chances, man, only a couple levels, and then, you know, go out and play. But we were dedicating, like, you know, 10, 11 years old, staying up late at night for hours just playing Final Fantasy. And I remember, you know, the original opening cut scene which you guys will probably see if I put the trailer up I plan to and in being introduced to Cloud, Barrett, and Tifa and and then just also like you know almost going full circle 20 30 years later with the remake finally coming out and just still being brought back to as a kid playing that game even though the graphics were extremely updated and they changed the story and everything but it was just I remember being introduced to the turn-based elements storytelling and it's just insane how amazing it was and i and i really love it to this day to even one of these days i'm hoping if i ever get the free time guys i'm sorry i would say this all the time i would love to stream the original final fantasy 7 from start to finish i did it a few years back with legends of Gaia, and i did it on youtube and twitch and i'd love to stream the original final fantasy 7 someday We'll get to it, but I just remember, even to this day, uh, the iconic Sephiroth theme, um, fighting him in the end as the one-winged angel, and just the whole story in general. How these basically, yeah, how all these this crew of exiled people that nobody really wanted to do or claimed, you know, criminals came together to save the world and it's just an amazing amazing tale and even there's the fun stuff like the the golden saucer uh chocobo breeding chocobo racing and mini games all the way and then all find, finding hidden summons and all that other stuff was so awesome and it just really 
I mean, just thinking about it right now just instantly makes me kind of warm and golden inside from my childhood. But So there you go, guys. Those are my three choices for the games that made me. Uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and Final Fantasy 7. I'd love to see some guys talking about this. Um, I, I, I'll just name a few. Uh, let's go LA Beast. I don't know if you'd ever do a challenge video like this, but maybe next time you're on a stream or something, if you'd like to talk about this, uh, I'd be interested to hear. Uh, Rad Bash, Mad Belmont, Caesar, uh, Steve Craig, Retro Games. Um, yeah, anybody. Anybody that, I, I mean, there's too many people to announce. That's just kind of what... Came off the top of my head. Pixel Game Squad. Pac-Man Case. Anybody that watches this video that would like to do this. Please. I'd love to see all your guys' responses. And make sure you tag me in it. So that way I can go and check it out for sure. And leave you guys a comment. So with that being said. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you do not have a YouTube channel. And you would like to let me know what three games from your childhood. Really impacted you. Made you are the gamer that you are today. Put them down in the comments too so I can read those. I love reading your guys' comments and I always enjoy replying to them, guys. So with that being said, guys, as always, stay retro, my friends. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Super retro.